Just few hours to go before the Congress makes the announcement for CM phase for Punjab. Meanwhile, PCC Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu has spoken exclusively to India today and firing a fresh salvo at Channi Amadmi Party and even the BJP. He also says that he will abide by Rahul and Priyanka Gandhi's final decision, but capability, not cost, must be the deciding factor. Here's a report on that. Sulking, Simmering Sidhu speaks out. His first interview since he sniped at the Gandhis. No end to the Punjab pot boiler. With less than 24 hours to go for the likely announcement of Congress's chief ministerial face for Punjab, Navjot Singh Sidhu launched scathing attacks on CM Channi, Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP in an exclusive interview to India Today. First, the upset Sardar dismissed surveys at a time reports suggest that Chief Minister Channi is a front-runner in Congress's survey conducted for CM Face. Tele-survey is happening. Look, this is the survey that I will talk about. This is the survey that I will tell you. I am talking about my party. Congress is doing the tele-survey. I am talking about the survey in general. The last time the survey was done, the other channel also said that the Aam Aadmi Party is coming to 110 seats. बीस आई तो ये बात मत कीजिए देखिए पंजाब की जो अंडर करंट है नब्स आपको पकड़नी पड़ेगी पंजाब की नब्स पंजाब ने अभी तक मन ही नहीं बनाया मन उस दिन बनेगा पंजाब का जिस दिन उनके पास तीनों विकल्प बराबर यूं खड़े होंगे अब पंजाब को एक बड़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग गवर्नमेंट चाहिए नेक्स्ट आप सिद्धु असर्टेड दैट पंजाब विल ओनली प्रॉस्पर इफ केपेबिलिटी एंड नॉट कास्ट इज द डिसाइडिंग फैक्टर ऐसा तो फिर आप ये कह सकते हैं बहत्तर साल से जट सिंह बता रहा है हिंदू तो दो महीने के लिए बना है पंजाब इसको भी नहीं मानता पंजाब मेरिट को मानता है मैं इसीलिए कह रहा हूं ना अगर आप ये कहें कि जी जात से ही बदलेगा पंजाब तो वो गलत बात है पंजाब काबिलियत से बदलेगा मैंने शुरू वहां से किया था पंजाब मुद्दों से बदलेगा मैंने मुद्दों की राजनीति की है द पंजाब कांग्रेस चीफ हैज मेड इट क्लियर दैट द चॉइस इज बिटवीन माफिया राज एंड न्यू पंजाब ही क्लेम दैट चेंज कैन बी ब्रॉड by someone who hasn't been in the system where there was an influence of the mafia. Astitv ka sawaal hai, ya to mafia ka astitv rahe ga, chori ka astitv rahe ga, Punjab ke khazane ko khora lagane ka astitv rahe ga, ya phir ek naye srijan, ek naye system ki usari ka yug aye ga. Claiming that he has not even demanded votes from the people of Amritsar, Sidhu said that the people have made him victorious all these years and that he has nothing to be afraid of. Unko ye pata hai ki agar Navjot Singh Sidhu aa gaya, to badalab hooga. Agar badalab hooga, to humari dukandari band ho jayegi. Dhyan se sun lo, vipaksh koi ho, phalana koi ho, parman tum nahi dhoogi mohtarma, parman chhe election Navjot Singh Sidhu jita hai, tumne nahi jita hai. ये लोगों ने जताए हैं छह इलेक्शन टकाक ये प्रमाण है। But responding on the rift within the party, the Punjab Congress chief did not mince his words on Aam Aadmi Party and BJP. ये रागव चड्डा गाड़ी में दुबक के भागा के नहीं भागा थप्पड़ चल रहे थे। अरे आप हमारे कह रही हैं कांग्रेस बंडी हुई इनके तो थप्पड़ चल रहे हैं। और कौन है इनके 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 जो कैंडिडेट हैं कांग्रेस की झूठ है कुछ पल्ले तो वो आपको नहीं दिखता इनका अकाली दल खाली दल बन गया तीन अकाली दलों में बंट गया फिर शेखवा साहब के घर में गया केजरीवाल वो भी अकाली दल ढींसा साहब आज भी इनके साथ नहीं है कैप्टन अमरिंदर सिंह क्योंकि कठपुतली बना रहा कमजोर अपनी जान बचाने के लिए खेलता रहा आज वो कह रहा है डबल इंजन सरकार डबल इंजन उसका इंजन तो कब का सीज हो चुका खत्म है वो काला धुआं दे रहा वो Surprisingly, Sidhu slammed Congress's political opponents rather than his own and defended Chief Minister Channi over the ED raids on his skin. ED के हिरासत का स्टडी में भैया ऐसे तो आप किसी के नेफ्यू के ऊपर जा चढ़ो और टाइमिंग देखिए 2018 का केस चार साल आप क्यों सोए रहे पहला सवाल नंबर दो आपने नेफ्यू को गिरफ्तार कर लिया क्या प्रूफ हुआ उससे भाई अगर आप किसी के नेफ्यू को पकड़ रहे हैं तो ये तो प्रूफ नहीं होता ना उससे कि भाई इसका कोई कनेक्शन है 
हमारे चीफ मिनिस्टर से आज मुझे ये पॉलिटिकल वेंडाटा लग रहा है आज मुझे ये लग रहा है कि ऐसे टाइम के ऊपर जब इलेक्शन 10 20 दिन दूर हैं भाई 4 साल क्यों नहीं हुआ ये एंड इन अ कंसिलेटरी नोट सेड ही विल एक्सेप्ट द गांधी सिब्लिंग्स डिसीजन ऑन कांग्रेसस चीफ मिनिस्टरियल फेस इन पंजाब राहुल गांधी का प्रत्येक शब्द मंजूर होगा जवान का पक्का हूं जो हाई कमांड की तमन्ना होगी देयर विश विल बी माय कमांड टेक इट इट्स अ वर्ड ऑफ ऑनर विल राहुल गांधी फाइनली एंड द सस्पेंस ड्यूरिंग हिज वर्चुअल रैली इन लुधियाना ऑन संडे एंड विल शेरी कम आउट ऑन द टॉप विद मौसमी सिंह एंड अमृतसर ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे Ahead of Punjab elections Congress member of parliament Manish Tiwari has exposed the divide within the party taking a swipe at the party over Punjab campaign list he said he was not surprised that his name did not feature in the list of star campaigners Tiwari is a sitting member of parliament from Anandpur Sahib took also to social media site Twitter and then added about other prominent members of the G23 did not find space in the list earlier on friday remember congress has released the list of star campaigners who will go ahead for the upcoming punjab elections and the names of prominent G23 leaders of the congress for example gulam nabi azad and manish tiwari were missing also it barred ambika soni and pratap singh bajwa many party mps have not got a place in that take a look at this report Uh, sir, you one of the strongest uh, faces as far as Congress Party is concerned. Still, your name is not there as a star campaigner. You say you are not surprised, and you would have been if it was otherwise. What does that really mean? It means what it says. As I said, I would have been pleasantly surprised if it would have been there, uh, and I am not surprised if it is not there, for the simple reason that. Uh, the 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 reasons for that are now in the public domain for a very long time but in specific why do you think are you upset with the party is it is it is it because we also seen there are camps so yes uh, in a day or so we've seen uh, sunil jhakar really come out uh, he was saying uh, the punjabi hindus are being uh, neglected uh, is the is that a larger feeling since you are a prominent hindu face as such uh, even though punjab has never been known to uh, have have that kind of a thing of jat sikh or punjabi hindus but now that we are going into the politics of things it does seem it matters Well first of all I am not upset with anybody I have been a congressman now for 40 years my late father has sacrificed his life for the cause of Punjab Punjabi and Punjabiyat I come from a family where my mother was a jat sik the house where we are standing it does not have tiwari house written outside it it has gurum house written outside outside it and gurum is a very typical jat sik uh, surname so there is no feeling of hindu or not sikh. even that you are not a star campaigner uh, there's there's no feeling of hindu or sik uh, in punjab if there would have been any feeling of hindu or sik in punjab then i wouldn't have been the mp from sri anandpur sahib As Goa gets set to go for elections on 14th February in a single phase, the Trinamool Congress, Aam Aadmi Party, and the Shiv Sena are in fray this time. The state has 40 assembly seats and will see likely a firecracker of a contest. For example, Goan Catholic heavyweight and former Chief Minister of Goa, Churchill Alamao, has joined the Trinamool Congress, and he says this is the only party that can defeat the Bharatiya Janata Party. Churchill Alamao has spoken exclusively to India Today's Nabila Jamal. He's a seasoned politician. He was also Goa's chief minister for precisely 19 days in 1990. Churchill Alamao is ready to now fight 2022 elections on the TMC ticket. He trained guns at Modi government adding only Didi can face Modi at the state and center level. With no hope for Congress in Goa according to Alamao he said Congress once used to be an ocean. now is reduced to just being a pond state of goa is set to face 14th february as their election date take a look at this
Goa goes to polls with barely 40 assembly seats. We're seeing several players like the TMC and the ARP foraying into the state. They're hoping for victory. Now, the recent big figure who's joined the TMC in Goa is Churchill Alemao, who is a former chief minister of Goa, a two-time Lok Sabha MP as well as five-time MLA. Churchill Alemao, thank you very much for speaking to us. Uh, you have now joined the TMC and there's a lot of talk about how you've managed a winning streak through your political career. How confident are you that you will win with the TMC ticket this time? See, Churchill Alemao is a Churchill Alemao. But I'm a man of the peoples. The peoples may make me a leader, not any party. So I joined in the TMC because TMC only party can fight in the center. And only Didi Mamta Banarji, she is a hundred percent stood for the Prime Minister seat and she only can fight nobody else. That is the reason I joined this party and this party, I know Mamta Banarji not today, 96. She came in MP by Congress ticket. That time, was the Congress is a big ocean. Now it's become a pond. So that is the reason everybody gone from the Congress. Like a Sharad Power once a time, Sharad Power once a time is a is a opposition leader for the for the uh, Congress. Right. He left. Mamta left. Everybody gone. That time the Rajiv Gandhi, I can say he is the ex ex uh, and uh, late late Rajiv Gandhi. He's the best prime minister of India once a time, and not only India, whole world accept, accepted. But today, that uh, that time there was the ocean like a Congress. Now there is no, it has become a pond. So that well, that all. Mr. Alibaba, you the, the Congress party in Goa is a principal opposition. Do you do you believe that it will will have any weightage this time? They have no They have no principal. If they got a principal, they got a principal. How the people were elected seventeen. And I, I was the person who not given a ticket, and I was uh, elected by my Benoli constituency people, my loving people. They elected me. No, no chance. TMC is going to form the government. TMC will form it alone. Uh, no, would, are you looking? Are you looking the, at alliance, an alliance? Alliance with the, alliance with the MGP. Okay, you're not alliance looking at an alliance MGP. with the Congress. That is, we'll see the after. But today they don't need anybody. No. The Karnataka campus face-off over the hijab issue is only escalating now. From being a student issue that it seemed to be earlier, it has now turned political. The Congress party has claimed that uh, bringing hijab in the way of education is also robbing students of their future. But the Bharatiya Janata party has countered claiming Rahul Gandhi is communalizing how education system has been. Here's a report from Karnataka. The debate over wearing hijabs inside educational institutions heating up in Karnataka. After some students at a government college in Karnataka's Udupi were asked not to come wearing hijabs, it snowballed into a massive controversy. The Rao has now spilled over to other schools in the district. Students from Mysuru celebrated World Hijab Day on February 1st to show their support to the Udupi students. While students in Shivamoga and Hassan districts came out in defiance, wearing saffron robes as counter-protest. A holiday has been declared for students of Arun Chetty College after several students staged an anti-hijab protest. India Today has accessed the rule book of Kundapara's Bhandarkar's College in Udupi, which says that the students are allowed to wear headscarf. Despite that, the students wearing hijab were not allowed to enter the campus. We came here, uh, but they didn't allow to uh, go inside the college. They were closing the gate. They were pushing us out of the uh, college. They are pushing us. And we, were, we asked them so many questions, uh, our principal sirs, but they didn't, or he didn't answer us properly. They didn't give any kind of answers to what we want. A political war of words has exploded over this issue. Congress MP Rahul Gandhi condemned the move and tweeted that letting hijab in the way of students' education is robbing them of their future. BJP hit back saying Rahul is communalizing education and called him dangerous to India's future. 
Congress leader and former Karnataka Chief Minister Siddaramaiah took to Twitter to attack the RSS and BJP. Muslim girls wearing the red scarf. They have, they have been using it since the beginning. The fundamental rights. This is a fundamental right. This is politically motivated. <laughs> So that is why the government should take a firm stand. After Karnataka government defended its move, saying that the ban is to maintain school decorum, Kalburgi District Minister Sunil Kumar challenged those who are speaking in favour of wearing hijab inside educational institutions to fight for the entry of Muslim women to masjids. This is a very important Mana in the Shalaya compound in a Tanaka Hakon to Berlin. Victiswatantra the Baka Matana do on Toro, Masidi Valaga, Mildari Provesha Kudli, Victiswatantra Madoriaki, Masidi Valaga, Mildari Provesha Ila, Wundukade, Mildari, Yelukuda, Provesha Kalan and Iraq and Madu on Toro, Sarkari Shalakal, Higa Brabekunteli, Brabekunta, Aurea Niamolical and Rupus on Totani, other Kanako, Sarkara Saisodilla. With the route taking a political colour, it seems students in Karnataka are the ones who are paying the price for this controversy. With Nagarjun Dwarkanath and Nolan Pinto, Bureau Report, India Today. The politically stormy Kerala gold smuggling case has once again come to the fore. Accused Swapna Suresh has now slammed all the claims made against her by bureaucrat M. Sivasankar, another accused in the case. M. Sivasankar in his autobiography has claimed that Swapna trapped him by gifting him an iPhone that later proved to be a major proof against him. Sivasankar has actually said that uh, they did not have any sort of a close relationship. Swapna, however, speaking to India Today says that they were close and that he planned to settle down in Dubai after taking voluntary retirement. Now, Swapna Suresh also said that Sivasankar was aware of what was inside the diplomatic baggage. And this, remember, with an explosive claim that is coming from her, she's claiming whatever she did while on the run from police was based on instructions from Sivasankar. M. Sivsankar, just giving you a background, was Chief Minister Penarai Vijayan's former Principal Secretary and also former IT Secretary. He was then later suspended and sagged from his post in July 2020 after his name cropped up in an investigation. And this suspension was then extended for another six months as he was arrested in the gold smuggling case. He was in the prison even for 98 days and later released on bail on February 4, 2021. India Today's Rickson Uman exclusively spoke to Swapna Suresh, who is the key accused in the gold smuggling case. Suresh has made some explosive claims against M. Siv Sankar's new autobiography. The autobiography revealing that Swapna trapped him by gifting him an iPhone that later became a major evidence against him. Listen in to what she has to say about that. Uh, did you ever think that M. Shivashanga, the former principal secretary of CM, will discredit the relationship between you two? The reason for asking such a question is that, you know, uh, M. Shivashanga is clearly saying in this book is that, you know, Sopna Suresh trapped him by giving, gifting an iPhone. So how will you react to this? Uh, unexpected and unacceptable because that's not the way he should have written because uh, our relationship was so strong and so close that you know, gifting him an iPhone, an IAS officer, a senior most uh, person with the senior most uh, capacity, with so many years of service in the government, uh, in different departments. Why would uh, a lady, a common lady, a Swapna Suresh, uh, would gift him an I iPhone and cheat him? In which way I, I cheated him? I mean, that's my question to Mr. Shiv Shankar through the media and to the public. You know, because what is he actually trying to convey through his through his book? If it is trying to convey something through this book, I would have expected him to write A to Z everything between us, you know, uh, everything. Because after meeting him, after getting introduced to him, after getting closer to him, all his birthdays, all the festivals, all the uh, occasions, whether it's my family's or his uh, personal uh, functions i've always been a part of it and we've celebrated along with my friends and family so why would i cheat him with the uh, iphone as a birthday gift that was quite insulting and uh, 
torturing me mentally you know but after uh, after he come out from jail uh, did you try to contact him or uh, any no i did not try to contact him because i came to know through reliable sources and from my family members that shiv shankar sir is the one who made this customs uh, uh, issue or offense or crime a uh, 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 terrorist activity he it was his master brain to bring nia into this entire scenario so that swapna suresh will be in the jail for 6 to 8 or 10 months or would not get bail easily and she wouldn't open the mouth i would have appreciated him or applauded him as a man's uh, you know power if he had written a to z everything in his book because they say atma khada and all that is you have to write everything right probably i will end up coming up with a book uh, writing and uh, uh, you know giving a lot of photographs facts figures maybe you can expect my book master blaster sachin tendulkar currently holds the record for most odi matches in a career ahead of india's momentous 1000 odi sachin who represented india in 463 over games deemed the achievement a huge milestone here's what sachin tendulkar had to say indian cricket team will be playing its 1000 odi match on sunday it's a fantastic achievement and i'd like to congratulate all the past present indian cricketers the bcci and all the supporters who have stood by us throughout these 47 years of playing odis and continue to do so i have always felt cricket is a beautiful example of life itself in life change is the only constant and in cricket too first we had test cricket then odis and now t20s odis have aspects of both tests and t20s it's short enough for exciting build ups but also has passages of play where one needs to play with patience and perseverance it has coincidentally become the bridge between test cricket and t20 cricket india has many wonderful memories over the years you know it starts for me it starts from 1983 world cup uh 2003 world cup that i was part of in south africa fabulous and 2011 world cup which we played in india Uh, to talk about 1983 World Cup, of course, I was only 10 years old. I uh, didn't understand much about cricket. The two things which stayed with me was uh, the first one was Balwinder Singh Sandhu getting Gordon Greenwich out, and the second one, Kapil Dev taking that beautiful running catch. So those those kind of things, you know, they they stay with you. Uh, 2003 World Cup also, I thought uh, we played. some amazing cricket in south africa uh, it was a fantastic team effort a uh, number of individuals put up their hands and uh, we were able to produce some good cricket 2011 the best tournament of my life uh, there were ups and downs even in that world cup and uh, eventually we ended up lifting the trophy uh, without any doubt the best cricketing day of my life these kind of memories stay with you for ever and ever and i'm sure you to have memories and one can go on and on you know just keep going back and forth and there's so many interesting matches being played but this is a wonderful occasion for all of us i wish indian cricket team the very best of luck for the series against the west indies may indian cricket continue to go from strength to strength all the very best guys And that's a wrap on this bulletin. You can always log on to indiatoday.in for all the updates. News continues on the other side. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend.